Kamala Harris is dodging interviews left and right, sparking debates about her media strategy as Election Day approaches. With snubs to major outlets like Bloomberg and Time magazine, is this a calculated move or a sign of trouble? Stick around to find out what this means for her campaign. As the election looms closer, Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee, has been making headlines not for her campaign trail success, but for her refusal to engage with major media outlets. Reports surfaced recently that Harris declined an interview request from Bloomberg News, a prominent news organization founded by former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who once vied for the Democratic nomination himself. This snub follows a series of rejections from other high-profile outlets, including CNBC and Time magazine, raising eyebrows and questions about her campaign strategy. Interestingly, while Harris is opting out of these major interviews, Donald Trump is making the media rounds, including a town hall with Bloomberg's editor-in-chief, John Micklethwaite. In his appearance, Trump discussed a range of topics, from tariffs to international relations, showcasing a stark contrast in media engagement between the two candidates. Bloomberg himself has not yet endorsed Harris, which adds another layer to this political chess game. Following Biden's withdrawal from the race, Bloomberg tweeted about the need for Democrats to find a fresh start, signaling his support for a new direction within the party. During a recent CNN segment, Boris Sanchez pressed Harris's campaign spokesman, Ian Sams, on her media avoidance. Sanchez highlighted Harris's absence at the Bloomberg event and her refusal to participate in interviews with CNBC and Time, questioning whether these refusals indicate a lack of mental fitness. Interestingly, Sams previously made similar claims regarding Trump's own interview denials. He attempted to defend Harris by pointing to her upcoming appearance on Fox News, claiming she was ready for tough questions, but the discrepancies in her media engagement remain apparent. Adding to the narrative, Mark Benioff, the owner of Time, expressed disappointment over Harris's refusal to grant an interview with the magazine, claiming that despite multiple outreach attempts, the VP has not engaged with Time in the same way previous candidates have. Benioff shared a link to past interviews with Trump and Biden, emphasizing the importance of transparency and public engagement. A recent article in Time titled What Kind of President Would Kamala Harris Be? highlighted that she declined repeated requests for an interview, which stands in contrast to the lengthy discussions both Trump and Biden had with the magazine. Critics are now questioning Harris's media strategy as she prepares for a pivotal election. While she has chosen to engage with less traditional platforms, like raunchy podcasts and radio shows, her absence from reputable news outlets like Time and CBS has raised eyebrows. Some argue that this approach could alienate voters looking for insight into her policies and leadership style. Harris has managed to secure a few traditional sit-down interviews, such as with 60 Minutes and CNN, but her choice to prioritize less conventional outlets is striking especially when she recently posed for a photo shoot with Vogue, which portrayed her in a highly favorable light. The Vogue cover, featuring Harris in an elegant suit and designer jewelry, labeled her as the candidate for our times, drawing attention away from the questions surrounding her campaign's media strategy. However, the glossy portrayal in a fashion magazine does little to address the core issues voters are concerned about, like transparency and accountability. As Harris navigates her campaign, the juxtaposition of her media engagements raises significant questions about her readiness for the upcoming election. So, what does Kamala Harris's media strategy mean for her campaign moving forward? Are these decisions calculated moves to control her narrative, or are they signs of deeper issues? We want to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest updates on the election and your favorite political figures. Thanks for tuning in!